Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin, aka Diego, back again. Today we're talking about uh, just some basic tanking, strafing, and basic UI, and some of my UI, uh, parts of my UI, and the way I set it up. Um, I'm in stocks here, bear with me. The video gets a little bit laggy because I was apparently downloading too much porn. And yes, it was good porn. But uh, what you'll, what y'all want you guys to notice here is uh, when the mobs get behind me, Eh, lag spike. Uh, when they get behind me, um, I, I will actually take a lot more damage than when I do strafe. Um, this is obviously because if you guys don't know this, hopefully you should. Uh, but if you don't, you take. You cannot dodge block or parry when a mob is behind you. Um, we're not bosses. Bosses can still dodge for some odd reason. They can still dodge when you're behind them, but uh, we can't. We don't have that luxury. So uh, strafing is good. Um, it gets get away from keyboard turning. Strafing is good because if your a boss ever gets that, if you gotta run and go pick up, something, you know the odd chance that you know uh, a boss does get behind you or just on hard hitting trash. You know it's a lot of damage that you can't avoid if the bot uh, if the guy is behind you, if the mob or the boss is behind you. But uh, so. Um, if it's hard for you to get away from it, this is how I did it. It was really hard for me. It takes practice to definitely get away from keyboard turning because I was a clicker and I was a keyboard turner. What I did is I, I my strafe keys, which were Q and E by default, and I'm sure it is for everyone, and uh, A and D, which are my turn left, my turn right, um, keyboard turns, I unbound my A and D. And I took my Q strafe and bound it to A and took my E strafe and bound it to a D. And so what it did is that whenever I wanted to keyboard turn, I would just strafe. So it took a lot of practice, and I kept on obviously hitting my strafe keys. So I would recommend not to bind those right away. Um, and if you do, bind them to something other than like your sh uh, bubble. You know, I definitely don't want to accidentally bubble when you're taking a boss or something. Bind them to like a taunt or something. Something that, uh, you know, if something's already attacking you, it's not really going to affect. That's what I did. I bound him to my taunt. So if I accidentally hit it, I you know, at worst, I'd just taunt a boss that's already attacking me. It wouldn't even matter. But um, so um, the nameplate add-on that I want to cover, it's called Tidy Nameplates. Um, it's a really good add-on. Um, the thing that I like about it is you can set up a tank mode um, to when the nameplates are overlapping. Um, and a mob, and you lose aggro on something, uh, the nameplate will actually get bold. And, it, it, and you can't see here because obviously they're all attacking me, but you could actually tell the differences between the nameplates of things that are attacking you and things that aren't attacking you. I also have another mod that tells me if it's targeting a DPS or another tank. Um, that one's called Tank Mastery. Um, you can't see that one here. That's only in a raid. I believe that that's active. But... Um, so the nameplate will get bold and it will become a lot more vibrant and it will be obvious like hey this one's not attacking you and you can click it and taunt it or do whatever you need uh, necessary to get it back. Um, I also got a new scrolling combat text which I really like. It combines all the damage into one which you see here on the consecrate. Um, you'll see the one tick and then you'll see just a giant tick. I think it what's that one 70,000. I think it just hit everyone for. So instead of ticking every single time and spamming you that way or having the normal default um, combat text where everyone's you know you see it all on the screen and gets kind of cluttered fucked on like uh, a Nixia whelps or something you know it, it c condenses a lot of that spam um, which I really liked as a paladin for AOE tanking it really makes it you know easier to see what's going on I also got my Ironbound Proto Drake today which I'm really stoked about um, and killed uh, uh, Alagon I believe is, uh, is how you pronounce his name in uh, Old War 25 so just wanted to show you guys that pretty stoked about that I think this is probably one of the Proto Drake's probably one of the best design mounts, I think. I think it's one of the best looking. They got like a grin on their face, you guys didn't know that, but um, if you guys have any other questions about my UI that I didn't cover, just hit me with a message or a comment. Um, I don't know all the names of them off the top of my head, that's why I didn't mention them, but uh, I'll find out for you if you really want to know what they are. Um, and I hope it helped. If it didn't, go fuck yourself. No, I'm kidding. Um, let me know if it was helpful, good or bad. And uh, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.